Hello and welcome back. Today we're playing World of Warcraft and we are looking at UI. Uh, I've been recently asked how I did my UI and I thought it would be quite good to make a quick guide. The main thing we're going to be using is an add-on system called LVUI. Um, this isn't like a normal add-on, you don't just grab it from CurseForge. It is actually like a comprehensive add-on setup that takes care of so many things just on its own. Um, as I say, highly configurable, but you can also import, export your UI, import from other people, uh, share on the forums, that sort of thing. And uh, it can change your entire UI in just a copy and a paste. It is fantastic. Uh, also, if you've uh, got a UI that you really love, you can save it, save that data. And then if you ever have to reinstall WoW, you can just do a quick paste after installing LVUI and you've got it all there. Uh, down in the description there are going to be links to uh, the websites we need to go to and the uh, things we need to download and install. If you open that now and get them ready on your browser and then next I'm going to go through all of the necessary steps to get to where we are now. Okay, so here is our first destination, tuckui.org. You'll need to make an account. Don't worry, this is a legitimate site. Um, there will be no viruses or account hacking or anything like that. Um, download TuckUI. Um, this is your installer client, and I have it installed, and I'll bring it up now. Um, and then once you've got this all set up and pointed towards your WoW install folder, uh, then download LVUI and install it via Tuck. UI client and that will uh, put it all on your system for you. If you need to ever update LVUI this is where you come you open your Tuck UI client and simply click on update and it does it all for you no problems. Our next port of call is to uh, the Curse Forge to download and install uh, SCADA damage meters uh, if you don't have it already. If you've been using uh, recount uh, it doesn't actually work with LVUI the same way SCADA does. SCADA is the recommended one that will slot in nicely with the UI. So I used to be a recount guy, but trust me, SCADA is just as good. It works almost exactly the same way. Don't worry about it. Just get SCADA instead. Okay, then here we are at link number three from down in the description. And this is a post I have put on the Tuck UI forums, which has a link to my uh, profile which has been exported in text format. I'll show you how to do that later. Um, but now we're going to show you how to actually import my profile into your game and completely copy everything that I've got on the screen in a simple paste. Um, if you come on here uh, you will see that I've put the code in this uh, long string here and all you have to do is click on select all and then you can right click on here and click copy or you can control C to copy it. And then you will need to go into game and paste it in the LVI profile import section. So let's go into game now and do that. OK, so here we are on a brand new account and we are going to import our data from our other hunter to customize the UI and make it the same on this brand new character. The first thing I'm going to do, do is show you that on add-ons I only have SCADA and LVUI installed and then we press escape and go to LVUI, go down to the bottom to profiles and then click import profile. Then all we're going to do is paste into this box our uh, copied string from the forum um, and click import now. You can change the name here to be whatever you want and accept and here we go and as you can see it all switched over so that our uh, bars are the same. We've got SCADA here in the correct position um, target comes up and if we click on uh, set focus we can see that I've got my focus and my focus is target all here set up and ready uh, press C and we can see our character pane um, and I'll what I'll do is I'll switch back to uh, my main account to show you all of this in action because this level one new account doesn't really have half the stuff to actually represent what you're going to see in game. She hasn't got gear, she hasn't got a pet yet. So uh, let's go back to the main account and talk through 
uh, the LVI system in a bit more depth. Okay then, we're back on our main account um, and now it's time to look at the LVI in a bit more depth now that you've got uh, it imported. Um, I think the most important thing to show you first is this bottom right corner toggle anchors and this brings up uh, frame locations for absolutely everything in the game and this is how you configure where everything goes absolutely everything um, if you ever want to resize a frame um, right click on that frame and it will take you to the unit frame section for that frame where you'll be given uh, size options for sizes and spacings and colors and all that sort of thing um, this is a huge huge add-on that is highly customizable I can't go through everything that there is to tell you it's just too much but just Google it if you've ever got a question LVI is big and popular just Google anything and it's all out there all the information is out there um, but I think this is the most important thing knowing that uh, you can toggle these anchors in the bottom left corner and then you can right click on anything and it will take you to the appropriate page in the LVI UI for adjusting that um, window you can just click and drag as well click and drag um, there is locking on here and as you can see there is a grid in the background and you've got some nice centering lines which really help um, you can turn off sticky frames if you want to uh, but sticky frames are great for lining things up um, you know this is all down to you so I'm not going to tell you how to do things but what I do like to do is try and mirror my action bars to what I'm using in real life. So my mouse, if I've got a 12 button mouse like a Razer Naga or a Corsair a Scimitar, um, you could add an extra, extra action bar here, four buttons on each to emulate those thumb buttons that you have on your mouse and then you can bind those appropriately. Okay, the other important thing I think is going to help most people, help people the most, is uh, keybinds uh, for your action bars. And this is quite simple. We've got LVI open, and if we just type uh, forward slash KB, that brings up the keybinds. Um, and then when you hover over, you'll see that there is the option to change it to whatever you want. So if I, for example, want to change this to F10, that now is an option. Um, if I press escape, it removes all keybinds, uh, and I want to put that back to F7. Um, once you're done, um, just take your mouse off what you want to do and go and click on save. I'm just going to uh, discard you. I've got the option here to make them character specific as well. If you don't check this, that will change the keybinds for your entire account. So just click discard. I'm just going to click discard, but you can click save. And that's that. Um, I will show you a few little cool things before we uh, finish this video. Uh, we do see all of our item levels and they are colour coded. This is fantastic. Um, if you want to use the pawn add-on, um, that does play nicely with LVI. Uh, and I do have a video on this. Um, which is still valid even though it's an old video it still works in exactly the same way um, but pawn comes up on the UI um, and then when we look at things if they're an ad if they're an upgrade or not uh, we can see that that one there says that that is a 49% upgrade but I just can't equip it yet so once that's equipable once I'm level 60 I'm, I'm still leveling in Shadowlands I'm nearly there but I haven't had much time to play um, that will become available for me and show as it shows me there that is a 49% upgrade based on the stats I have programmed into it. Um, the other cool thing I like about this is the bag sorting. Um, I've got this set up so that there's no bag button I just press B, bags come up. Um, if I click on here it will show you all the bags. You can set these bags by right clicking on them to be assigned to certain types of equipment or to be ignored so um, my last bag I've got set to ignore so that anything I put in that bag when I click on clean up will not be cleaned up 
and then if you as you see if I move some stuff around here um, if I click clean up it all gets tidied up to its respective bag because that's what I've set this one to I've set this one to trade goods so trade goods have gone there I've set this one to equipment um, and this is the first um, unallocated bag so that's where random stuff has gone to uh, but I think that's a really neat little uh, part of this especially as I hate it when sorting sorts through I like to always keep you know this bottom bag I always like to keep it what I want in it and I don't want it to be affected by sorting if you're using LVI and that doesn't work um, you know the sorting doesn't uh, leave the bags alone uh, it's quite simple to deactivate that all you have to do is come to the bags section and click on use blizzard cleanup as long as you're using blizzard cleanup what I've just showed you will work okay so that's it for this guide I hope it has helped you um, I hope you can appreciate that I haven't gone too in depth with LVI I've shown you how to download it I've shown you how to make it your own um, so if you have any questions you can ask me in the description but I'm not an expert on all the intricacies of LVI Google is a much better person to ask than me um, but I will try and help you if you do ask with any comments and if this did help you please leave the video a like and tune in for more content um, as I go into Shadowlands I now have a bit of spare time in my hands not too much but enough to finally play some Shadowlands I'm nearly max level so that's going to be great um, so until next time I'll see you in game <laughs>